I'm not gonna lie, I would never have seen this movie like in theaters. It's just not like the kind of movie that I like want to go see. But I did enjoy it. I mean, it, I guess it shows that like even kids like me who don't necessarily enjoy that kind of stuff would enjoy this. It really does like get into their minds and makes them think like crap. It wasn't a love story. It was real life. I feel like it really spoke to those those teens. It wasn't like stupid love story like every other movie you see. I liked it because it was like really graphic and it wasn't like fake at all. Like it had and like the cartoons and stuff. It was it was very crazy like we were like inside this kid's head. And it really it, it can relate to like all the hormones and all the crap that goes on in teenagers' lives. I don't know. I uh, I really liked it. I really, I liked the realness. It teaches you about their lives and how bad it is, how bad their life is. I loved how you could like really see inside his mind, and you just knew everything he was thinking, and it can really relate to teens everywhere. And. I just felt so attached to the movie and it's one of the best things I've ever seen. I liked this movie, like, it didn't seem like a typical movie where like, oh, teen suicide, that's a really bad thing, don't do it. It really felt like this guy was going through a really hard time and it just felt so real, like I could actually connect with what he was saying. I, I think this will get to teens everywhere. Because there's so many people just like us, like 14, 15, 16, all been through the same. It really can't. speaks to people who have like suicidal problems and things going on with their life like that. So it shouldn't be targeted to like one specific group. Like, oh, these like 16 through 18 year olds should watch it. I think it should be broadcasted to all those people with those problems. I think mm -hmm. But I think it's more for high school because he's dealing with a problem as him as a teenager with his yeah. family. Yeah. It's more about his parents rather than like anything else. Yeah, but his friends too he has the problems. It's I don't know, but I still found it enjoyable. I think it was more of his humor that we connected yeah, to. Yeah. Like yeah. Like How about the... Because it's not extremely emotional all the time. Like, there's also a lot of humor in it. Comic which relief. It was both sides. Well, As someone who is a film major, that's something very... That, that image is very hard to create. And it's... I really respected that, and I know how much time went into something that looks that beautiful. And that's a superior way of telling a film story. Right. It was worth it. It was worth it. I think it really, it relates to different people on how they see the world, and people inside people's minds there really are things like that, and I think that, you know, it really touched some people, and other people at first they're going to be like, oh, well maybe I won't go see it, but there's something in that movie, whether it be the comedy, or the suicide factor, or even like the teen, just high school factor, that relates to every single person. I got attached to the characters pretty easily, because you knew exactly what they were thinking. Mm-hmm. I felt attached to both Sierra and Archie because they're two opposite sides of the spectrum. He's afraid and she's a popular person, but they share the same problem. And the story like development was just fantastic because you didn't see anything coming. You you would expect something and another would happen. Yeah. And that's how life is and that's why it's a real accurate interpretation. And you know, they they come from two different like classes or cliques and it's that often happens that no one will talk to you, but they have the same thoughts and the same like problem, so it's easier for them to talk to each other instead of just separating themselves, having him be isolated and still have that problem. It's interesting to see how one person's actions affect everyone else throughout the story. He got like on film what goes through a teenager's head. It was amazing. It wasn't stupid fairy tale love story. It was like life. This is how teenagers live. This is how certain people feel. And it, it showed how people in your life impact you. Everyone around you has some something that's going to impact you in one way or another. And I really, really, really enjoyed it, and it was the best movie I've ever seen. I really liked the movie because I think that teen suicide is a real problem, and I'm sick of movies that are really stupid and sappy and sugar-coated because sugar-coating only makes sticky people, and we don't like sticky people because then they're sticky. And the only only good sticky thing is Sticky and Sweet Tour by Madonna, but that's just my personal preference. But definitely I believe that the movie really speaks to a lot of kids and really explains that, you know, people do drugs, people will get porn, people do certain things like snorting coke off of people's private areas. And I think it's a really good topic. A favorite quote. And <laughs> um, last Halloween I heard she snorted coke off some guy's dick. When my boy Archie got laid for the first time. <laughs> for you, Archie. <laughs>
I thought it. I thought it was really funny um, when everybody started freaking out when he got t uh, taken away by the police and my mom was like, "I'm gonna sue you." That was, that was yeah. my yeah. part. What I do? Oh, Alright, Sam, that one. Like my favorite yeah. part was the psychiatrist's office where it was like start oh, yeah. anime everything, and we found out that the psychiatrist went through that when he was a kid. So it was like we found out like Jump there are people out there for you, and it made it really humorous when I was watching. It was pretty. Funny. I really liked when they were on the roof together, Sierra and Archie, and he asked her what suicide was, and she just said a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And then, that's they went to <laughs> and then his, of course, his yeah. mockery of that was yeah. like, oh, oh, great cliche. He was not a guy who really bought into the cliches in the world, and she fed that to him. Uh, my favorite part was when he was watching the video of um, of when Sierra came to talk to him, and she's like, oh, like I want to like talk to you or something or or the, and then like he's watching the video of her and he's like making fun of himself how like he couldn't talk to her because he oh, liked yeah. her that's so like basic teenager like you know when you can't talk to someone you like and you're just like oh my god i'm so stupid i love that i was, I was cracking up my favorite part was i felt that it was so honest and so real that there was really not a script like it was so genuine and, and it was almost like capturing real life when they held scenes with the teenagers at school and at the party, it, it just seemed to be really, you know, spontaneous and honest and sincere and unscripted. That was really excellent. Trippy. Fantastic. Realistic. Eye-opening. Emotional. Graphic. Relatable. Honest. Life. But I really, I just, I cannot wait till it comes out. I want to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I want to leave happy. That was the best thing ever. <laughs>